Norman, the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVing. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine, presenting the challenger, El Tigre. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Let's go, I need you to be first now. Oh, 
Got clipped with the right hand. Clean left punch followed by the right. That's a big strike right there. Circling towards the left now. All right, you're okay. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Defense there as he blocks the shot. He can't break your will. Midway through round one. Keep your hands up. Oh, nice punch there by the Gypsy King. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Calm down. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And now trying to take the back. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, connects with the one-two. Let's go, set up that high kick now. Nice defense there, huge block. hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch in DC. This has certainly been a big trademark of your success, just finding a home for those punches in these clinch situations. This is where I live. I love fighting in the clinch and landing those strikes. There are so many small spaces where you can land really, really good punches. Seconds to go. He blocks the shot. Nice right hand. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Stay busy. You control this. Beautiful. 
beautiful kick. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Tyson Fury. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Watch the shot. Cross, hook, high kick, go! It's very Stay tricky strong. when he throws that body kick. Single collar tie now. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Straight punch lands. Nice job by him there as he continues to keep his opponent to the outside. He told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, I have to control the center of the octagon. So far, so good. Oh, he's doing a great job. His opponent back is always facing the cage. He's always the one in the center. Whether it's in the clinch, whether it's in the middle of the octagon, he is the one always leading the dance. Opponent goes right, he just takes a big step right. Opponent goes left, he takes a big step left. Never gives him an out as he's trying to escape. Unable to connect there. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much. To avoid a nice loop and punch. Fury's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big kick. Got the single ball tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Just out of range with that left hook. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Oh! That body's done, man. Body's done. Big knee to the body. Beautiful knee. Gets tagged again on the inside.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. It's still right when we start. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. You be first. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this way. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice, nice. Big power shot there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Fury's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Three minutes to go in round three. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Shoot! Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. Just misses there with the left. Hands up. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. All right, single collar tie now. kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Whoa! Oh! He wiped him out! Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Ravines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. All right, so heavyweight.
heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champ of the world.